It's recording now. Say these successful uh, Negro uh, men, you know, hell, they might have, you know, when they was younger, before they got successful, they was trying to get get with her, but she turned them down for a thug guy, and now he's successful now, dealing with dealing with a uh, maybe an Edomite or a woman of other nations, even a so-called Latino woman, you know, now now you now you won't talk shit about him dating outside his race and all that crap, man. When y'all, uh, a guy like him, you, you were turning down when y'all was younger, man. Now when you up in age now, you, you aging like spoiled milk. You know, nobody wants you no more. And like Dave Chappelle said in one of his uh, comedy uh, skits, he's like, man, who the hell wants some 36-year-old vagina? That got a lot of mileage exactly. on it, man. Exactly. That's like going <laughs> to the damn car lot. You go to the damn car lot and you see a, a brand new car and you see a used car. You know, you got used cars out there, some of them in decent um, shape. They say like 10, 15,000 miles on it. I'd rather get that car than a damn car that got 100,000 miles on it. This car ain't no good no more, man. It ain't no good. It's going to break down on your ass, man. Yeah. So you got these uh, women on this segment complaining about they can't find a man because you don't ran them all the way, boy. Don't you know that? Exactly. So ain't, 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 nothing, ain't nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? They, they not looking at you. They looking past you. And, and, and no one wants to deal with you, man. You're just a hit and run. The women of, of, of their age category are just a bunch of hit and run, man. And y'all, de- n- n- nigga woman, y'all the least desirable, man. I asked, it's, Jake, he was like, man, if I can't get no woman of the other nations, you know, I'd rather be to myself because I'm sure as hell ain't dealing with the nigga woman. Yeah, a lot of guys, uh, that's what that, the mix, mix style movement is, is it all about. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of guys uh, online doing doing uh, different segments, you know, talking about these uh, Negro women. You know, Thomas Sotomayor kind of spearheaded that. Yep. He talked about them viciously. But it's um, other guys who are now all over YouTube. Just, just click on it and you will see it. It's all type of guys uh, doing videos on these, uh, you know, these dusty, crusty nigga women. Mm-hmm. Uh, men time movies, men going their own way, you know. They ain't they ain't dealing yeah. with no relationship, man. Uh-huh. All right, and then then too, man. A lot of y'all nigga women, y'all don't have no damn hair, man. Yeah, one chick in the audience, bald, look like a damn jar hair. What guy in they right mind want to date a chick like that, man? They ain't got no damn hair, man. Right, they know damn well that they mad. You know, she probably got a bad body or something like that. Well, they go damn where they mad, man. I'm just trying to hit this bitch and, and, and hide out somewhere. I 
only one <laughs> issue in the public with this ball, you know. You know, but uh, it's a damn disgrace to be that damn ball, man. You know, these people made fun of you back in the day. They made that damn ball here. Even Willie D had a song called Ball Head Hoes, man. Yeah, man, you in bed with her, man. She rubbing her hair. You, you like you in bed with Michael Jordan, man. Yeah, exactly. Hey, man, hey, come on, man. And that air. Hey, yeah, guess man. what? That's part of the curses. Most I put on on you, um, you uh, Southern King of Women. You, you nigger, so called Negro woman, man. Cause yeah, cause yeah. part of that, cause you you got one tie eyes, you're a bunch of whores, harlots, and you're proud, man. That's so most I struck your crown, your your scalp, man, your head, man. That's why you can't grow no help, man. Yeah, he also put the curses on you that the uh, woman ain't gonna, gonna hate the man and, and vice versa, the man gonna hate the woman. So you ain't gonna find no damn um, nice guy or uh, guy here who you desire, who you thinking about, man. Hey. That guy doesn't exist. Hey, bro, I got, I was holding that too, man. You quoted it. I get this um, Deuteronomy yeah. 28 and uh, 54. So that a man that is tender among you and very, very delicate, his eyes should be evil towards his brother. Uh, we had niggas. You no know, beefing with niggas, killing each other. That's part of yeah, the curse. A lot of times, that, that, that's a result of uh, these whores, man. A lot of times. Exactly, bro. Cause they ain't raising no real man. They raising um, emotional, effeminate ass niggas, man. Yeah. That's why it's very important for the man to be in the household, man. And he yeah, saw knew he, he saw knew what he's doing, man. He ran a yeah got the man up out of the household. It was a. Uh, Woman couldn't get welfare if it was a man in the household. Yeah. You know, they showed you that movie with um, James Earl Jones. Yeah, and uh, what's her name? That uh, real nice looking chick, man. Right? Uh, I can't think of her name. Oh, uh, the movie named Clardine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, came there, out you there you go. There you go. You know, that was done by design, man. Because if, you know, yeah. these women, they can't, they can't raise no real man because they not a man, man. They're going to raise some effeminate emotional ass niggas man and yeah, like I said that's what your father your, your daddy can teach you about women and so can your mama cause if you had a uh, dad and your mom in the household your mother can look that woman up and if, if, if your mother dealing with um, your father she obviously a decent woman ain't no perfect woman she obviously decent but your mama can as soon as the woman can walk in the room your, I guarantee your mama can read her spirit <laughs> yeah no already and she ain't right yeah <laughs> And like you said, these niggas out in the corners, game banging, all this, all that stuff. That's a result of them being raised by this damn woman, man. You know? Yeah, these pimps, you know, these pimps taking up these hoes. Don't get that woman, man. What's wrong with you, man? They get all types of videos of them beating the hell out of guys for being on women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a result of that, man. So, hey, you won't blame somebody. It's, it's, I say, it's both of y'all fault. But the woman ain't going to, she going to blame the man. And she exactly. see innocent. She innocent. She ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's all your fault. Uh, shit. Well, guess what? Uh, he might not have been around. Guess what? A lot of the reason why the man ain't around because you ran him away. Yeah. With a big mouth, bad attitude, yeah. and a uh, uh, big brother, a.k.a. he started the police. Mm-hmm. And the damn courts and the government and, you know, child support and all that other stuff. Yep. Hey, we're going to get that scripture. I'm going to finish this off. Uh -huh. This, um... Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifty four. So that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil towards his brother, and towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children which he should leave. Hey man, we was watching um <coughs> Shaft, the latest movie, you know, the latest Shaft that came out. Which you know, I was I was vexed looking at it, man. It was all a bunch of bullshit, man. You know. You yeah, I do that I do that for the commercial, it's gonna be trash. Yeah. <laughs> But if you watch it, man, no, if you watch it, that's a prime example, you know, of um, how these women, because, you know, um, he had a son in the movie. He wasn't around, he was in his son's life. And come to find out the reason why he w wasn't in his son's life, because the mother told him not to be in his son's life. All right? Because, you know, she's, because, you know, his job, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a damn cop, you know. He's like, in the movie, uh, there's always shootings and everything whenever they was around. So I guess she feared her son getting hurt or whatever. So she told him not to be around her son, man. You know, so guess what happened? 
they look at him sideways, you know, saying he he's a uh, 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 dead beat dad. Pretty much that's what the movie's all about. But really, really, she he, he really wanted to be there for his son. The only reason he wasn't there because she told him not to be in his life, man. All right, but they, they get, have an evil eye towards him, man. Talking about you, you don't care. And then it took for him to get a damn, uh, you know, to take a bullet for his son for his son at the end of the movie. You know, took a bullet for his son for them. Then then um, he was in the hospital. That's the end of the uh, movie. He was in the hospital. Uh, I guess the the the, the girl, uh, the young girl, um, his uh, shaft son, you know, grew up with. You know, they end up um, getting together, and that's what happens anyway, man. When you grow up around a woman, y'all, um, you know, if y'all childhood friends, y'all end up um, getting together because y'all, you know, been around each other your whole life, man. Yeah, they showed that in that movie on uh, Love and Basketball. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, even even um even her ass, man. She talking shit, talking about like you don't even know this man, man. They having dinner. She talking about you don't forget he hasn't been in your life for over twenty plus years and all that shit. Just talking the shit, bad bad mouthing this guy, man. Don't even know the whole damn matter, man. Uh, and then gonna kiss him on the head, tell him good job. Like man, bitch, get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, they make shit like that to piss you off. You know, that's that's, that's all programmed. That's all that shit about. Yeah, man. Moves of vexation. I had to leave a room a couple of times. But, you know, that goes to show you, man. You know, the reason why these guys don't be in these children's life, you know, because this woman, this damn, your mother ran them away. But she, she ain't going to tell him that. She ain't going to tell her son or daughter that. She going to make it seem like he's a deadbeat. He don't give a damn about him. But really, you ran him away. Because you, because you was jealous, because he was paying more attention to his son and daughter than you, man. That's how these women are, man. Of course, he gonna show love and pay more attention to them. That's his seed, man. Yeah, or well, the guy gets more attention from other women, you know, and they get jealous and everything. Yeah, and they rent him off, You're right? And then gonna and turn around and tell his his son and daughter he ain't he ain't shit. He don't care about you, man. Yeah, but that's far from the truth. The time, um, they do that. Then the other. 30%, I think, just niggas that ain't no good, man. Yeah, you got that, too. But you, yeah, you got a lot of these dudes that actually care about their they children, man. Yeah, exactly, y'all. Yeah. But sometimes if the dude know that the, the, the girl, been, the lady been around and she a whore, they ain't gonna want to announce that that they be by her, man. That's a damn disgrace, man. God. God, let me finish this off, man. Been rent, renting too much. Um says uh, his eyes should be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children which he should which he should leave man you know that's why you have single mother um, households and stuff man that's part of the curses man alright that's why the father ain't around man that was just part of curses put on us by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai cause we disobeyed him man alright so that, that's all it was it's the curses also, you see that with uh, with with so-called Negroes, you know, the head tribe, man. Yeah, the head. That's bad. That's real bad, man. Yeah, the head. Hell, the head gonna gonna get the worst. Hey, man, you had like twelve sons. Your your uh, parents went out, you know, left the house to y'all. You tell them, don't do this, don't do this, don't do that, and you disobeyed them. They come back home. Who they who asked they gonna kick the most? The oldest. Yeah, exactly. Nah, nah. <laughs> All right, so Judas the head, man, the so-called Negroes, you the head tribe, so you got caught the most hell, man. But most eyes fail. That's why in the kingdom of heaven you're gonna be praised by the brother, and you're gonna get the double blessing, man. Uh, exactly. The most eyes fail, man, because you caught the most hell out of all the tribes here. Yeah. Come, uh, come. All right. So that's it, man. Like I said, man, lie. Well, fucks don't even know the whole matter. Hey, the children don't know the whole matter. Why don't you come to your damn dad and, and find out what, what happened, man? Before you start yeah, uh, jump to conclusion, man. Talking shit about the guy, man. Yeah, and reason with him, man. Cause yeah. The scriptures tell you you're supposed to honor your mother and your father, man. Right. You honor your mother, but not your dad. You going off, man? That's what 
to make him a sissy, man, a feminine, man. And that's the result, being that's raised by his goddamn on. mother. Hey, go ahead, brother. Yeah, that's why this guy from uh, New York Undercover, Malik Joba, you know, this damn homo, come out talking about um, his mama raised him and all this and that. That's why he, he, he a man and a woman. You know, he said that on the internet. I'm like, this nigga is fucked out. So that's, that's the result of that, man. New York Undercover, he's true. Yeah, he's undercover, all right. Yeah, all that time with the damn closet homo, like uh, trainings and stuff, man. Damn. Yeah, but uh, anyway, let's get the, let's get off that damn homo. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> they, like like we said, uh, a lot of these women that were in the audience were women of age, and you can look at the video. They pan the camera around and see that man. Yeah. They done all these um, slutty things when they were younger, and a lot of them were in college and doing all type of orgies and everything else. Now they and they like I said, mid thirties and early forties. Now they trying to find a man, man. It's uh, Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman, which most of them are, man. They're a bunch of whores, man. Trying to be innocent, trying to put on that white, you know, like they all, uh, I'm, a, I'm a good woman, I'm a god friend, woman, yeah, right. Mm. You a whore. It says, she eat it and wipe it her mouth and say, I have done no wickedness. And that's what they are, man. You know, all you see in this audience, they, they eat it and wipe it their mouth and say, they ain't done no wickedness, I need a good man. You ain't gonna find a whore. Right. All you gonna get is some cock and, and a and a, a road runner. You know that damn cartoon he said, Meet me, put it bit of a bit of a bit of down the damn street for somebody. But it ain't it ain't right down there when they deal with you. And the guys that do pick them up a bunch of damn stuff, they beta mail. Yep. They're a bunch of damn stuff. Got that old tired, new eye pussy. And you bang it in it like it's your like you've had it all your life. Right. So, and about a thousand other guys I've been in that before you. What a damn loser, man. He need to slap us out the head. Which uh, proves uh, Kanye West, he's a beta male. Because he dealt with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he tries to act like an alpha male because he's loud mouth in that. But just because you loud mouth don't mean nothing. Yeah, you a beta male, man. Yeah. Because he dealt with Kim Kardashian, a, a known slut and whore. And she did a goddamn porno flick. Yeah, with Ray J. Uh, Ray J. bust off all up in it. <laughs> That's what they were known for. The, the Kardashians were known for being whores. Oh, yeah. And that's what three older sisters. My mom, too. You know, they got, yeah. I mean, they I, I they have good looks. I mean, those are some nice looking women, but they hoes, man. And that just goes to show you looks don't mean nothing, man. The women that got the good looks are the biggest whores on the planet, man. Mm hmm. And they the nastiest, too, man. Yeah, because they do all type of stuff, man. Yeah, hey, look at, uh, what's his name? Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Jr., man. That's a good-looking um, chick, man. He's too much like licking ass tonight. <laughs> yeah, I see that. that, 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 that. Hey, hey, remember that story? From, uh, she she exposed husband, Dwayne Wade. He, he like his salad toss. That nigga got, yeah. Yeah, he didn't want to play the game <laughs> when she exposed him. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that story happened about like a couple of years ago. And yeah, I can remember. Yeah. He, I can, can remember. He know deep down that shame, right, man? So he's a goddamn shame, man. He ain't want. He was. He, he didn't want to. Uh, he was embarrassed, pretty much. Yeah, like letting them put our fingers all up in his behind and everything. You know, you know, you know it's a sacrifice, man. You know, yeah, and, and they, they son is a damn homosexual. She be taking them to pride parades and all that crap. Yeah, because them demons that was on the way away that rubbed off on them. Mm -hmm. But they was having sex problems, man. Yeah. Alright. Was it was more than that? That was it. This is Jeremiah 3 and 1. Then say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? So you're yeah, polluted exactly. if you deal with multiple people. That's the most I'm talking about Israel. That's the most I'm talking about Israel, but it's, it can, that's twofold, man. He's talking about these bloody-ass whores, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what the Muslim call they, they, they uh, woman? They call them my earth, man. Yep. They sure do. A lot of rap niggas call it the old earth. That's they like to say earth. Yeah. So that's, hey, that land be greatly polluted? All right. Yeah, like says Israel too, man. You read down, you keep on reading it. It's gonna tell you that, man. You know, cause we um uh, cheated on the most side, man. Yeah, we let 
back in into a uh, calmly and delicate uh, woman, man. Yeah. We pollute ourselves with, you know, all these strange, uh, with the strange woman, all these different philosophies, man. Mm-hmm. And this is a strange philosophy, man. Um, getting married, you know, bowing down on bending knee and all that bullshit, man. That's a, that's a strange philosophy, man. That's a form of worship, man. Like, you know, get down on bending knee. got the niggas boys in the hood. I was in a uh, boys to men when I'm down on bending knee. You down busting, bozo. <laughs> Damn, bend the knee for these boys. I'm around with a thousand guys. Yeah, it's bugged out. Bend the knee, kick you in your damn head. Okay, but they, this goes to prove that you women are polluted. Don't nobody want no polluted used vagina, man. And that's what you are. If you have multiple part, if you have multiple partners, man, you're polluted. Yeah, all that getting in the tub, soaking in vinegar, that shit don't work. Oh man, kind. So it says. Shall you return to her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? So you polluted if you have multiple partners. You women, man. Yeah. But thou has played... Ain't that, ain't that, huh? Ain't that, ain't that the question in that scripture? All right, so should, yeah. should he return to her again? Yeah, that's the question, man. Yep. In fact, is, is you out of your damn mind, basically? Right. She had m- multiple partners, man. All right, and that's a lot of... The majority of these women, they have... Matter of fact, about shit, man. You find a woman that's a virgin. That's like finding gold, man. I mean, they out there, yeah. but it's very rare, man. Man, you gonna find a, a child? I mean, they, like they ain't nobody no damn better about. But hey, they ain't damn even ten year old or something. You're not finding no woman that's no damn. That's not happening. Go, right. go to a woman that's in your age category and ask her how many men she been with. She ain't gonna tell you the truth. Hey, no. I I know um I know somebody man it's, it's a woman that's she in her twenties she, she ain't never been with a man before it's one of um the brothers um daughters man oh wow you know she like uh mid I think she uh mid twenties if I'm not mistaken she ain't never been with a, a guy man and she believe in the truth man so that's probably one of the woman's most I gonna deliver and give to a man of the Lord man cause she ain't been. To, Right. You know, this country's right. going, and this, this country's going, and this women that live with their uh, parents until they marry. Yep. They, um, you know, go outside of marriage, they get jacked up like in the Arab world. They don't play that shit out there. Yeah. They still follow. You got to give it to them. One thing about them damn fan niggas out there, you know, in their world, they follow their old um, ancient ways, man. Yeah. You know, you know I get that to them, man. But other than that, fuck them. God, hey, and that's why um, they always say they they believe you know the the women that the most I got reserved for the elect man and Lord they on the other side of the world man because these oh, women yeah. here God, here God. in America A.K. Babylon the most I got destroyed them because they polluted man we just re- no. read the scripture let me finish it off but that hey, has- let me add one more thing let me oh, add okay. one more thing to that and, yeah. and some of them might be heathen women because look uh, Ruth was a Moabite man yep or, yeah. you know that you know you never know man. Oh yeah, I, I believe they definitely heathen because you know we can, um hey in the kingdom heaven we're gonna be dealing with women of all the nation man you gonna have Jake to have gonna have a thousand Concubine. women if they want to man concubines yeah so, but like Solomon I, I Solomon was man yeah which ain't nothing wrong with that there's only something wrong with it when you uh follow their heathenistic ways you um uh, yeah glorify them yeah glorify them. one thing when Solomon had that dream what did he ask for wisdom to judge this Judge Israel, man. He asked for all that materialistic stuff, man. Mm-hmm. The Lord came to him in a dream. Uh, uh, give me wisdom to judge these people, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. that, that's what uh, that's what Solomon off is is, is old age, man. So you know, Jake get weak that's when they true. Jake get weak when they get yeah. older. Exactly, yeah, kind, you, know, kind of. you know, so that's 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 what he went off on, man. When he got older, he started um, uh, building temple today, false gods and all that. You know, so that's when he went off as old age, man. That's what he's going off at. He wasn't going off at the fact that he was dealing with him, man. Because he got relaxed, man. Yeah, he got too relaxed. He's like, I'll go ahead. I'll, okay, I'll do this for you. And if he got the Lord's, um, they paid the price for that, man. Yeah, when he came back to your house, shot. Yeah, to your house, shot. Then, you know, David had, had a lot of damn problems because of that, too. Mm hmm. Yep. 
It says, shall not that land great, be greatly polluted? You know, vagina's polluted, man. Because you have all these different dicks and you, a lot of mileage on you. But then you want, then you get up in age. You've been used and abused. <laughs> you know, sleep, hopping on from dick, hopping from dick to dick. All your young life, you get older in your mid thirties. Now you aging like spoiled milk. Now you want to settle down with a nice guy. Yeah, then your tired ass want to go to church. Some other, uh, I can't find a man. Jesus is my only husband. Okay. Yeah, okay. Get the hell out of here. You still the same whore. You just ain't got a man that the ain't got big man to screw around. You still got that spirit on. Yeah, that's why um, scriptarian Tempe it says silly with women laden with sins, man. Mm hmm. God. The house right. for the city. That, 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 them houses and them churches, man. Yeah. Kind. It says. And them preachers know that. Mm -hmm. They cater to, they cater mostly to the women. Oh, yeah. Kind. They, they know they sell. Women love money. That, like, you see them preach, pre preach on TV talking about money. The women love money, man. They like materialism, so. Yep. Get you a man with a lot of money. That is, hey, okay. Keep following that, baby. You and him going to be good. Be good guy. Kind. Time. It says, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man, shall not he shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, said the Lord. You know, and the lake is go is returning unto the Lord right now, man. All right, you know, forsaking a wicked, evil ways, man. When we was um lost, when we didn't um. You know, know who we were, man. You know. Yeah. One of the, one of the things that uh, the men out there doing is staying away from these wicked ass women, man. Yep. Yeah. Well, this brother, you know, this brother got women. I got a woman, but man, still, man, you got to still stay focused on the Lord, man, because they demons, man. Yep. They stay worldly, man. I don't care <laughs> what they say they believe or not, man. They they still worldly, man. Yeah, and you you got your woman talking about she believe in the truth. Complete bullshit. It's exactly right. 99.9, no, not 99, 100% BS. Man. It's like, man, we'll see. We'll see when the real tests come, man. Yeah, let a situation arise, a financial situation or something uh, occurs, you know, say for instance, like the situation with Job, man, watch what happens. Yeah. She's, uh, his, 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 um, his wife said, curse the most I and die. And he had yep. to cut her. He had to cut her. Like, shouldn't I receive uh, evil two instead of good? It's evil two as well as good? Because most sides uh, about t testing. Yeah, just like Lot's wife, man. You know, when you read about uh, Lot, man, he had great possessions, man. Yep. Okay. And what happened? His wife looked back, man, because he, he had a thing with a basically a rich man, man. Yep. And he uh, got turned into goddamn salt, man. Exactly. So yeah, man, you want to full of shit. Hell, the ultimate test, which all of them fail, is if you're dealing with another woman. That's the ultimate test, which they all failed, man. Oh, man. True. They man, all man. fail that. And that's one of them fail. You and know. then the ones that do deal with it, you know, you're going to have to major them probably. They was former lesbians or, or something jacked up about them. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, kind. So, yeah, they all, yeah, they all fail when it comes out of that. So you really don't believe? You quit being full of shit, man. You still hold, believe in Esau's bullshit f ways, man? Cause Esau pushed that that man can only deal with one woman, man. Yeah, and then the scriptures they twist it around. It's, it's true, you know. They say a deacon and a reverend should deal with one woman, which is true, you know. In today's society, to, you know, deal with one. And wisdom is your first woman, man. You ain't got time to be having no damn multiple women, man. But then, you know, in the ancient world, our, our forefathers dealt with many women, man. Yeah. But okay. it will prove that in today's society, you still got so-called Arabs over there. They got multiple women, man. Yeah. Even in the uh, East Indian culture, they have, uh, you can look, go on YouTube and all type of videos of men with multiple wives. <laughs> God. But here's the thing, man. You know, uh, you got brothers, and it's truth. They might have a woman. Hey, they might give them a, a side deal, man. They might be talking to another woman. They might be dealing with her. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong. Yeah, hey, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course. Now you know we can't deal with multiple women. Now you know, cause we not in our power, right. man. You know we can't take care of all them damn women, man. Right. 
Right, don't make no damn sense. You can't support all those women, man. That, that comes with it's financial and it comes spiritual. You can get carried away, man. The women that have an influence on them. Yeah, yeah, Kai, so you can't do that now. You gotta wait till the kingdom of heaven to come to have all them women, man. <laughs> But you have certain brothers, you know, um, they might have another woman on the side they might deal with, you know. You know, it, 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 your, your main wife might have a problem with that. But she she, she claims she in the truth, though. Yeah, you claim the truth, you know what the scriptures say. You know? Because your man, I'm quite sure your man told you already, man. That man could deal with more more than one woman. So don't say you're in the truth and you, you still want to hold on. Because you know women, women respect power. This damn devil is still in power, so they still believe in him. That's all it is, man. But you had some mock. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Sirach, uh, 25 and 21. Uh, and there's a lot of those women, like I said, when you pan the camera around, they were decent looking women. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they was all right. But this is Rock 25 and 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Because when you start to look at these women, even y'all shot said, uh, when man left after a woman, he committed adultery in his heart, man. Yep. So you got you to gotta be wise, man. I mean, it's a beautiful one. It's a lot of beautiful women I've been seeing all the time. You, you know, anywhere you go, you're going to see a lot of bad, um, there's a lot of bad uh, so-called Negro women out there, man. So we can't front on that. But when you start to love back to him and not have pleasure for it, you're mad, man, you're going to be jacked up, man. And that's when you get a, a guy with that simp spirit on him and all that foolishness and folly and I do this, anything to get her and all that, and you're going to get trapped up, man. Because they know the women got them demons on them. Them demons speak to the women in their mind like, oh, he's a sucker. Look at him, he's a sucker. You can get all the money you want out of him. Yeah. No, that's why they got 10 different dudes when I'm paying for the damn nails, when I'm paying for the hair, when I'm paying for the toenails, when I'm paying for furniture. That's all types of craziness, man. Con, con. These whores out here, they can, these whores out here are smart, man. They can sniff you out, man. Hey, that's why, um, you know, brothers, that's in the truth, that's why it's a hard time for you to get women. Because, like you said, they, them demons on them know already. They can see you all, man, shit. I can't do nothing with him, man. He's hip to all my bullshit, pretty much. He he got my number. Con, con. The demons, me and they mad. They like, I'm about to eat. This guy, he's smart. Yeah, I can't deal deal with him. I can't get over. I can't get over him. I can't get over over on him, pretty much. He ain't, he ain't gonna take me. The Lord, the Lord is throwing a bone. You know, he yeah, he's out smart now. Yeah, he probably get you one of them frauds. That you do what you need to do and leave her ass alone, man. Yep. You know. God. Was it more than that? That was it. Hey, the Lord told, uh, who was that? He told her uh, to, uh, to get a harlot. Well, it was, it was representing the downfall of uh, Israel. But, oh, uh, Hosea. Yeah, Hosea. He told him to go get a harlot, man. And have a kid back. But we ain't talking about, we ain't saying doing that now, but I'm just saying it is. An example. We're talking to get a whore. Go get your whore. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what they all are. All of them are whores, man. God. Hey. And even that nigga Snoop, he had a big uh, saying back in the day. He said, We don't love them hoes, man. Yeah. Um, that nigga, he was in his right state of mind on that one. Hey, uh, you read Sirach 25, right? God. You started at 13. Um, and what's the tool that I just read? You read 21. Yeah, that was actually 21. You started 23, though. Uh, well, you know I read 13. This is Sirach 25, 13. Give me any play. Actually, that was, um, I doubt that was 21. God. It says, okay. give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Mm -hmm. So any plague but the <laughs> wickedness of... That's, that's another reason why... These, these Negro men don't want to deal with you nigga woman, man. Because you're not a comfort yeah. at all to deal with, man. You ain't nothing but damn heavy. Huh? I, I, was, I was about to say, the plague of the heart, that's your mind, man. Yeah. A, a plague of the heart can be fears and 
all type of stuff you fear and everything, man, you know? God. It says, any affliction but the affliction, matter of fact, I'll jump down. This is verse 16, Sirach 25, 16. And I, re I, I had rather dwelt with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Uh, hey, and like you said, that guy said, what, he'll deal with the women of the other nations that are Negro on the back. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a wild, that's a wild thing to say, man. Yeah, what's the first thing they going to say? You can't deal with a strong black woman. A strong black woman is a loud mouth woman who tell you what to do. No, I don't want to hear, I don't want to deal with no, they would not want to kick your ass for running your damn mouth, man. So oh. I'd rather deal with a woman that's more effeminate than a damn uh, wrestler. You know, you like Macho Man and um, who's that nigga, Rick Flair and all that, he's talking all that junk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they ain't like, wow, there ain't nobody trying to, Deal with you. Get, get the hell out of here. Oh, here's the scripture say about this. That, what you just said. It's Proverbs 9 and, 11, and uh, uh, 13. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Clamorous. They got a big mouth. Run a damn mouth. Scripture say you foolish. They don't say nothing about you being a strong black woman, man. They don't say, I don't see nothing say a strong black woman is clamorous. Run her mouth. There ain't nothing strong about you. You're actually, you're actually a foolish woman, man. Nobody want no deal with no woman that, that run their mouth, that talk shit all the damn time, man. And they want to know what a woman is that a man will desire. Read Proverbs, the 31st chapter, man. The virtues, yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so uh, a woman that got a big mouth, run her mouth, there ain't no strong black woman. That's a foolish woman. That's a simple woman. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked woman. No, no guy won't deal with that, man. No, no guy in their right mind won't deal with that bullshit, man. That's yeah, why a lot of... Only a simple want to deal with that, man. Yeah, it's simps, yeah you simps, you can go ahead and deal with it. <laughs> All right, but... Uh, yeah. I didn't think a real simp. He's a damn simp. His wife, I'll speak him, tell him what to do. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's a damn homo as well. God. Along with, along with, along with his children, man. That's, that's, that's some sad shit, man. It's, it's, and you, you know. Family full of freaks. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, but say I would, yeah, Kyle, uh, let me jump down. It, the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darken her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he hear this, he shall sigh bitterly. You know, women are wicked as all hell, man. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let a portion of sin and fall upon her. So you a wicked ass nigga, you shit, you, you gonna get caught in the, these women's traps, man. So you, you see a, a, a like damn that wicked. You see a like a, a wicked woman with a dude. You know like you know she wicked as all hell. You know he, he, she with this nigga cause he wicked. That's why they together. Yeah, the game is a track, man. They say the opposite of the track. Game is a track. Yeah. A wicked low life nigga with his pants falling to his kneecaps. You know no none going for himself a loser, and she totally attracted to it, man. Unbelievable that. But we we in the spirit, so we know them demons, man. Yep. God. <laughs> See more to this. Uh... Yeah. Uh... A wicked woman abated the curb. This uh, Sirach. Uh. Let me see. Uh. Yeah, I start twenty three. Sirach twenty five twenty three. A wicked woman abate the courage and make it a heavy kindness. And a wounded heart. A woman will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. These women ain't a comfort, man. You know, here is, you know, here is you, uh, man, you, you had the job, you had to deal with Esau shit. You catch hell at this job all day, and you come home, you, really, your woman, Pope, be a comfort. You catch a hell from with her ass too, man. Yeah, she 
worse off. She's worse than, 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 than a damn devil. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. She ain't no, no damn... Black, she, she's a devil advocate, that's why. Mm-hmm. God. It says, of a woman became beginning of sin, and through her we all die. <laughs> Check that out. You said Eve. Yeah. So these, hell, yeah, damn, these women are real reason why we catching all this hell not, man. It started with her. Going that serpent, man. That's why you gotta work a damn job, man. The sweat of your brow, man. It's the time, man. Yeah. There's a lot of these guys got to pay for that. Like you said, man, like you said, I, when it's time comes, man, these brought a lot of them did all this, this wickedness to these, to these, uh, especially men of the Lord, man, they gonna catch pure hell, man. They gonna get it, man. Yeah. Most I gonna see to it, man. Yeah. And yeah, most I, yeah, you ain't get away with shit, man. Most I got your track record, man. And when, mm -hmm. it, and when it, all hell break loose, most I, yeah, you got the, um, uh, pay the bill. Yeah, all them dudes that got messed up, they gonna come hunting for their ass, man. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, give the water no passions, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather brawl. And that's exactly what they do, man. Hey, we was uh, out last night. It was like, uh, what time was it? Um, It was like damn near 12 o'clock, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, it was about almost 12 o'clock, riding down Ashland. Like on uh, what street was that? Uh, pretty much yeah, 69th or something around there. 69th Ashy. Oh, yeah, damn, damn women, women out there standing on the corner by yeah. herself. Like why, why, why? That's what yeah. happens when you see a bitch getting shot and all that. What's what's right there hanging with them thugs, niggas, man? Mm. And she was out by herself <laughs> on 69th and Ashy. Yeah, yeah, that's some area of Inglewood, but it's all regular men, the gangbangers all over the damn place. You out right there? Yeah, that's them getting broad. Esau gave them liberty, got it broad, man. Gave, yeah. he gave them freedom. Probably was a damn hooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably was, yeah, kind. But it says, um, if she would go not. As thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. And there's another scripture in Exodus, um, you give her a bill of divorce, she should leave with nothing. So that, that, that's all BS. Esau got set up with. She get half your. Oh, that's all bullshit, man. Yeah, so she, did, she leave with the children and, and half your damn, uh, half the damn income you make. Half yeah. what she make what she make. We're just going off, man. Let's, see, this place don't upheld the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. And this is why the Most High is going to destroy this place, man. Yeah, that's why this devil got to get taken out of power, man. Yeah. He's a little bitch, man. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to his power because he wanted to be them. He wants the vagina, man. Yeah, he's right. Exactly. That was it on that. Uh, and it's on uh, Proverbs 11 and 22. As a jewel of gold and a swine snout, which is a damn pig, that's what a swine is. So is a fair woman, which is out, which is like yeah, without discretion, man. And she's all loud, out of control, just like deep broads on this show, man. And if you really speaking to man, what the hell are you going off down show like this for for the whole world to see? You know, for one, it's all set up for them to talk bad about uh, so-called Negro men on TV. That's the main thing. That's Esau's main thing. Yeah. Uh, all, all, all the Negro, so-called black men are bad out there. You know, the black woman can't deal with them. That's, that's the, an agenda, man. To down talk people, man. Yeah, that's the reason why. That's, I, that's the reason why he had that set up to begin with, man. Yeah, um, a table full of uh, a room full of women and a damn cool host. You know, this nigga, this fucking cool on here. Who's down with it? If he had any damn sense, he would have did it. So they probably tanned this nigga off and I sold his soul. And yeah. he got these whores in here. You know, and they're making so called Negroes look bad, man. So the shit like this pissed me off, man. Yeah, it's all agenda, man. And can't yeah. you. Can, when you. How much. What does it take to let you niggas see that this damn devil don't like your ass, man? They hate, he hates your guts, man. Yeah, 
He doing all this shit to make you look bad, man. Yeah, usually your own women of your nation to do this, man. They're proud, and they're doing it proudly, man. Yeah. Okay. This is not because they, they, I mean, true, they probably can't cry to decent dude. You know, like I said, that man that they live for don't exist. But the main part of this is to make Negroes look bad, man. Yeah. You know, like I said, the time don't come, man. All these people are going to pay, man, severely. Yeah. You know? But you have on Lord, man, and don't question the Lord, man. I know sometimes we get, sometimes we might get mad and shit like that. Lord, when are you going to do something to these motherfuckers, man? Yeah. But the Lord, he, he got it. Don't, don't worry, the Lord got him. He got the ass. He got him. Yeah, this age was in faith, man. Yeah. Okay. No one prophesied for what, a thousand, what was it, how many years? 120. 120 years? Yeah. Too, you know, it's the reason why a lot of these black men ain't, ain't trying to deal with you, man. Because, yeah, the tr hell, the truth is out there. Hey, the man of the Lord exposed your ass as well. So now they seeing you for what you really are, man. So they don't have nothing to do with you now, man. Hey, now, now, and then you got some Negro men with uh fine Edomite women, man. I seen it. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it all the time too. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, like you said that's some curses fall upon them now. You know. Hey, um, and then you got buns get mad. Like, man, don't get mad. She with an Edomite woman, man. Like, shit, man. Hey, guess what? The most I can deal with her ass, man. You know, that's how I look at it, man. I ain't finna get, fuck, like, get mad and have get my blood pressure up because what this damn bitch doing, man. Most I can deal with her, man. All I gotta do is continue uh, doing what I'm supposed to do, and Lord willing, if I be His good graces, He'll deliver me. And all the other I came out there who sincerely believe in this truth, man. See, that, at the end of the day, that's what you got to be concerned about. Yourself and the elect, man. Exactly. The hell with everybody else, man. The most I can destroy everybody else, man. Well, like you see these, these, these uh, women of our tribe, they need, uh, I ain't going to call them a women of our tribe, man. Not right now, man. I'm not doing that. I'm going to say that that nigga one boy, he's still with the cracker, dude. Hey, don't get mad at that, man. You know what I'm saying? They ass going to be destroyed. They probably going to cut her damn head off with us. Exactly. That's why I don't that's why you shouldn't even worry about that shit. The most I can deal with ass, man. Yeah. You know? So, um I ain't had nothing else. Yeah, man, that show. And then you had the um the jarhead <laughs> nigga woman. That was a Yeah, I was tripping out on that, man. I was tripping out on that <laughs> And what she say, man, she like, um, White men check for me. Yeah, because you like a damn dude. He's a homosexual, man. You remind him yeah, of a guy. Said, I've been one of the black men all my life, but mostly white men. She's like, I, I want a white man. I mean, I want a black man. That's who I want. Black man. I don't want to deal with your bald headed, crusty, crowned ass. You ain't get out of here. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you know, like, 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 you know,
the so-called white man check for you, the Edomite white man. Like, go ahead, deal with him, man, because he he like that anyway. Cause he, yeah, she, cause he, you know, you remind him of a a, a man, cause he homo anyway. Yeah, That's why he like checked for you. Like a weird sex act to him. Like I saw this skit with David Chappelle on YouTube. It was like a uh, one of those TV things where the black dude, you know, the couples. Mixed families or something, they switch up or whatever. Yeah. And David Chappelle went with the white woman, and the uh, white dude with the, went with David Chappelle's wife. And the black lady was sad because he was doing all that weird sex act with him. Mm hmm. She, she, she wasn't dating the dude, so that's how these damn crackers is, man. Yep. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep. Yeah, she, yeah, kind of. Yeah, he put his uh, son on timeout. This motherfucker looking at magazine jagging off. New magazine. Uh, uh, and then what, the other, the other, his ass wanted to go in the hood and shit, and David Chappelle dropped his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that's all right. Like. That, yeah, that's it, man. Hey, like we say, man, if I can get a chance, check this out, man. I can say, you know, all these whores that in their uh, mid 30s, really, I'd say late. Late twenties, forties, um, or early fifties, even you know these whores are all over the place. They done with man. You know, nobody wants to deal with. They want to do a stick and move, man. Any dude that deal with them, they down step, man. That's all shit. Hey, you, know, you might want well to give give the simp. There's simps out there. Get with them since you having trouble. Yeah. Find out who's a simp and get with them. Yeah, God, they used up. These whores are used up, man. No man that is right back ain't gonna want to deal with it, man. Mm-hmm. Right. There's hope. Money, <laughs> I say, there's hope. Get the simp shit. <laughs> God, it's the simps and the beta males, man. Yeah. They out there. They show it out there. Uh -huh. So with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah Baha Shem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And so you taste and so you occupy that push this word and sincerity and the truth. Shalom. Shalom.